The language of Rishi Sunak, despite the betting market saying he only has a 10% to Liz Truss's 90% chance of becoming prime minister. It's interesting that he hasn't moderated his language. He's still going for the jugular. Yesterday evening in Perth, we were hearing him use uh, the language of moral failure of Liz Truss, accusing her, in effect, of being immoral in her economic plans, in her cost of living help. Uh, is that sustainable? And, and would he at all be able to take a place in her cabinet were she to win? Yeah, I think there's a couple of things here. I think part of it's a slight sense of desperation that clearly the race is getting away from them and, you know, they're throwing everything they can at Liz Truss in an attempt to make it stick. Um, so I think there's a bit of that. I also think there's a bit of a feeling that Liz Truss from the beginning of this campaign was seen as the more charismatic contender, the person who sort of is able to energise the room a little bit more. I went to a couple of these hustings myself and you see there's a sort of much more enthusiasm from Tory members towards Liz Truss. She has a sort of more energy on the stage. Rishi Sino perhaps seen as a little bit wooden. So perhaps this sort of language he was using last last night, um, accusing her of a moral failing on, on not giving out more money to people to help pay their energy bills if she was to become the next prime minister, is an attempt to sort of reverse that and be seen as the more sort of empathetic, compassionate uh, candidate. But yeah, I mean, as you, as you say, at, at this point, um, it, it does feel like it's going to be quite difficult for him to turn it around. And of course, uh, from the 6th of September, when, uh, assuming it is Liz Truss, she makes it in to number 10. There are going to be the most enormous set of challenges. We've been hearing today about inflation. We've been hearing about, of course, the cost of living proposals from various candidates. What does Liz Truss need to do, assuming it is her, in her very first week in office, in order to try and cement a new impression with the British people in terms of making that break from the last administration? Well, I think for Liz Truss, one of the big things is cutting taxes, isn't it? She sees that one of the most damaging things that happened under Boris Johnson's leadership and with Rishi Sunak as Chancellor was this national insurance hike and various other tax rises that have made the government less popular, certainly with uh, 2019 Tory voters. So we think there'll probably be some sort of emergency measures that are brought in pretty quickly um, and... Trust's campaign has, has given us some idea of what that might be. We think there'll be some tax cuts involved. There'll probably be some more help on the cost of living, but it won't come in the form of a cash payment. Um, and we might see some stuff around sort of Whitehall red tape as well, which she's been very keen to talk about. So that that will probably be the sort of first days of her administration. Quite whether it'll be in the first week, I don't know, because there is a sort of certain amount of getting feet under the desk and um, trying, trying to appoint your cabinet and all of those other jobs that new prime ministers have to do. Um, you know, that said... I think the 1997 Labour government was was over. It was the second day or something, wasn't it, that they made the Bank of England independent? So there certainly is scope to move quickly on these things if if they need to.